Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Not a Lover of Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, and right now we're doing some Kira Strike group formations, which I think I read in the last video, Bob. As Kira has grown to increasing prominence in our strategy, we can't afford to neglect them and the squadrons. Updating strike group formations will improve efficiency and accuracy, which maybe I didn't read, but regardless, carriers usually are pretty cool, even though sometimes they're not exactly meta for Hearts of Iron 4, but regardless. Launch airstrikes in Cambodia and Laos? Yes, please. While we may be withdrawing our ground forces, we still have a vested interest in the conflicts in Southeast Asia. Providing airstrikes and supporting Cambodia and Laos will protect those interests. Ah, yes. And Vietnamization. The policy of Vietnamization calls for the withdrawal of American forces in Vietnam and the replacement by more ARVN forces. In an effort to make the Vietnam War be more Vietnamese. Where there's a sound idea militarily is another issue, however. Which they get better air research times, uh, weapons and equipment research speed, land doctrine research speed, division organization, and recruitable population factor, which is, hey, not bad. We've got some comms to go through as well, and we are making some good money, even though our economy is looking like it's doing okay, but. The Secret War, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. That looks kind of cool, though. Expan greatly expands the Vietnam War, but American policy believes of air power can greatly hinder the North Vietnamese efforts and tie down North Vietnamese forces who would otherwise head south. More violence in Indochina. Uh, CRP proposes Operation Wiretap and Photograph Documents a Democrat. In our recent high-level meeting of the Committee for the Re-Election of the President, former FBI agent Gordon Liddy proposed an extensive espionage campaign against the Democratic Party. The chairman of the CR, CPR, John Mitchell, rejected the idea as unrealistic in a subsequent meeting. Liddy proposed a much more toned-down version of the plan, calling for a wiretap and photographic, uh, photographic of campaign documents at the Democratic Party National HQ. Mitchell and Presidential Council. John D. must consider whether they should uh, approve the proposal as the President cannot be notified, or they should reject it and trust the CRP can win the party without inside information. Liddy added, he planned on bringing in White House consultant and former CIA agent Howard Hunt, an experienced operative, to implement the PAM. Go ahead with the plan. Watergate break in fiasco. Heist is a success. It's a 50 50, 50 50 chance. I mean, for this one, we can just give money. N uh, Lon Nol. President of Cambodia needs more of our military aid and equipment to continue the fight against Khmer Rouge, and we will provide it for him. No questions asked, but Renewable Energy Project. Cool, I think I read this one before, so if you want to read about this one, please go ahead. But let's go ahead and do some Renewable Energy Projects, which sounds pretty darn good. Vietnamization? Oh, yes, please. And then arm, 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 arm. American influence, nothing else there, nothing else there. Cambodian War, we can still bomb the crap out of them. Probably using some Viet... Uh, not some Vietnam. Using some... Very strong napalm, but we do have a Thailand under us. They used to be a bunch of fascists, but now we're reactionaries, something like that. But now the conservatives, led by Kukrit Pramoj. So we'll keep adding more to our puppets. Let's the puppets go up. The me, huh? Me, you. Uh, we can get these guys, but I don't really feel like it yet. We gotta figure out who else we want under us. And we're just researching a bunch of missiles. M113 Dragon, nice. Arm Lol Nol, and increase American influence in the Persian Gulf. The Persian Gulf is a vital region in the Middle East, due to the sheer amount of oil that flows through it every day. We need to be on good terms with the countries around if we were to keep it flowing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. Four trillion, huh? Not bad. Withdrawal from Vietnam. The process of Vietnamization has been completed. And it's time for full removal of soldiers and advisors from Vietnam. Good luck, South Vietnam. Good luck. So they become free. Peace with the National Liberation Front and get more stability. Which, I mean... Maybe I should have influenced... Hey, no, it didn't influence them. They were still our puppet anyways. Huh. They have no stability, which makes sense. They got a lot of war sport, though. But after this, we're going to increase arms sales to Saudi Arabia and Iran. Oh, look at that. Saudi Arabia and Iran are in further need of weapons and advisors. Due to the fact that we need a stronger allies around the globe, they'll receive those. And we get money from this one. Nice. Very nice. Wow. Imperial State of Iran. Subjugate the Afghanis. Public nominations, Richard Nixon. And George Wallace, huh? Someone, there was one comment saying that we should get McGovern in 72. Uh, we'll go with McGovern for now, but I, I'm trying to get all historical presidents, at least for this campaign, so we'll probably stick with Nixon, and then we'll probably get caught, so we'll see what happens. Maybe we won't. I don't know. There's a 50-50 chance, apparently. Withdraw from Vietnam? Goodbye, Vietnam. And since Saudi Arabia, or at least Iran's at war, so they could benefit from this. But also, up. Oh, I love PRC and the UN. Despite our obvious and wide ideological differences, China has two major world power to be relegated to the state, to the side in important global discussion. It's time to accept them into the UN. Which, Republic of China means... That China. Why do you want People's Republic, man? So, Republic of China, remove permanent member of the UN Security Council. And we'll... <sighs> Nixon, why? Nixon, why? Sharks? Nice. Just so many missiles here in America. 
Right to this one. Reduce global tensions. For the past few years or even decades, global tensions have been at a distressingly high level. As the world's leading power, that's up to us to lower them. Is it really though? Is it really? Well, maybe. Also, I forgot to tell you, Yugoslavia lost to Croatia. So now we have the independent state of Croatia, even though part of it has been taken out by Bulgaria and Italy, so... Yeah. Their third position is, even though 75% of the country believes in the ideology of revolutionary socialism, and 50% are progressives, while well, only 10% are third positionists. So, the UN General Assembly Resolution 2578 passes, so... Great day for Beijing, but not a good day for our allies, so go figure. Extensive approach to the Tar Baby option. Um, deploy advisors to the Alcora exercise. Recognize Rodizio. Aid Portugal colonial complex. Oh, god damn. I don't remember which one this was. Task support. Limited approach. Allow American volunteers. I don't remember. I think a limited one is probably where you want to go. I could be wrong. I want to recognize these guys. I think it's, well, probably, this is probably the more circle one, limited approach. While we need to reopen diplomatic channels with these countries and begin a friendship, we don't n need to go all in on these friendships. A limited approach is probably best. Games of the Tweet Olympiad. And Munich, FRG. They were a success. Nice. Next one's in Montreal, apparently. Cool. And we got about one day's left. World tension goes down by 10, which is not bad. And we got a bunch more political power. And then circumnavigate a Rhodesian embargo. Many innocent Rhodesian citizens are suffering due to internationally imposed embargoes on its imports and exports. By bypassing the embargo, we can help those who are innocent. Who do we want next? I want a big country. I want something that's influential to implements. Uh, maybe you guys. Probably not you guys. Uh, that'd be interesting if we got them under us. Ethiopian Empire might be not bad to get either. We could puppet them. French Republic, obviously not. Can we do India? That might be a bit much. Actually, let's do Pakistan. That's not a huge country, but at the same time, that might be fun to do. So, but this is probably wrong. But if we get them under us, that's not bad. Hmm. Psy war Warfare? Okay, cool. The tanks? Nice. M1 Abrams? Eh, it's a little ahead of time. Cav stuff. Cool. I feel like we should get Canada under us. Man Battle Tank 4 is nice. We have 20% just like th those guys. Oh, Argentine Republic is too. It's not bad. 23% is not great, though. They have a lot of national support down there, though. Holy crap. So, okay, okay. so let's just at least do these guys. They're, they're close already. They're 74% is super... 75... 80... Oh, my gosh. Why are you generic Hoi 4 guy? Adolfo Pezet, huh? Well, whatever. We're still building stuff anyway, so I'm not really too worried about it. And then allow American volunteers. Despite our behind-the-scenes support for the apartheid governments, we're still and ultimately want them in the racist ideas gone. Allowing volunteers to go to Zimbabwe and other regions will help with that. Watergate break into fiasco. After receiving several uh, approval and clandestine funding from the committee for the re-election of the president, Gordon, Liddy, and John Dean worked to put a team together. Liddy brought in Howard Hunt to who assembled a team of former CIA and FBI operatives. The team broke into the Democratic Party uh, National HQ, located the Watergate complex in Washington, D.C., un and then undetected. The team was able to wiretap the phones of the Democratic Party chairman and his top advisor. If you're worried about that, please go ahead. However, the wiretap on the chairman failed, and a second break-in had to be done. This time, a security guard noted a tape on the doors, eventually arousing his suspicion. He called the police, and the officers were not warned as their watch-out man did not n notice the plainclothes policeman enter the building. Subsequently, uh, the five operatives uh, in the building were arrested by the police. The lo local press was already investigating this bizarre break-in. Gosh darn it. Well, I'm not clicking that yet, because I want to at least spend my PP first. We worked so hard to get this much PP. And the task support for of South Africa. While we can't be seen publicly endorsing the uh, South African government, we should let be known to them that they have our support, both in word and action, in which we give them a bunch more money. I just want to get these guys under us, man. Two days left. Ah. We're so close. No! Darn it. It's alright. Happens. Breakings happen. So to this... Then, uh, we should have elections, and then have another tree to do, maybe? Hopefully. Someone did, a couple of you guys did say it. we go until the 1970s, or, yeah, 80, I mean. So, there's no other tree here. So, we'll see what happens. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that's really bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, get more office parks. It's not bad. Radar array. Uh, keep building in Ohio. They could really use it. And Washington? Okay, well, Washington. Reaction from the White House. Senior members of the Committee for the Re-Election of the President and the Presidential Council John Dean informed President Nixon 
uh, of the botched Operation of the Water game. President Nixon is especially concerned as the police found contact information for Howard Hunt among the arrested operatives. Hunt is a well, well-known White House security consultant, so the revelation of his involvement will raise suspicions. The president is inclined to go with the majority of those present in the meeting to initiate an immediate cover-up and denial of the CRP or White House involvement. The advantage of this would be to prevent it from becoming an election storyline. The other option is to simply admit to the CRP in the robbery, blame it on overly enthusiastic members of the group, and dismiss them from the administration. This would pre- preserve the president, but might prove costly for the election. Martha Mitchell. Is there a cover-up? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. That's all I'm going to say. So, uh, Right now, for folks, I guess we have a massive welfare state. I mean, health, heavy welfare you know, spending, but still. Um, does give more political power, which I do love. So, which we do want. 3.6 is not bad without doing a focus. I just... I guess there's nothing else here, like, for focuses. I mean, obviously, the cheese going to change once. Perfect torture in Central Africa. Or violent torture in Central Africa, including even Bokassin personally torturing his victims in the middle of the cabinet meetings. Wow. That kind of sucks, bro. Let's see on seeing Martha Mitchell. One of the first issues facing the cover-up is preserving the public claim that the committee for the re-election of the president was not involved in the Watergate burglary. The chairman of the CRP, the former Attorney General John Mitchell, is especially concerned about his wife, Martha Mitchell. Martha has made a name for herself as a publicly outspoken socialite. She gained notoriety for her tendency to call journalists while drinking. Martha is currently in California, but John Mitchell informed Nixon administration officials that when she finds out of the details of the Watergate, she realized CRP involvement as one of the uh, arrested men was formerly family bodyguard. Her bodyguard Steve King is oh, is in place and we must decide if we should try to keep her silent for at least a week to limit the media snowball over Watergate the other options will let her be and just downplay the uh, statement is eccentric seems like the hot one would be the better one to do just absolutely silence her economy is kind of tanking right now which kind of sucks yeah the growth rate is minus 13% which sucks so yeah this kind of sucks man even though these guys have over three trillion, it's so unfair. Hey, they hit a trillion. You guys are a little better now. You guys really suck. You're not even at a trillion yet. I was actually. You guys are at work. Can we send any vol- I want to send any volunteers. You're beating up these guys very well. What have I been doing? What? You don't refuse me. I refuse you. <sighs> oh, these guys are sassy. Sorry. Bro, we just want to send you some some dudes. A couple guys. Just a few guys. I know you don't really need us. The ordeal of Martha Mitchell. The Nixon administration directed the bodyguard of Martha Mitchell, former FBI agent Steve King, to keep her detained in California and cut her off on the media and telephone. However, she managed to discover details of Watergate and eventually called a journalist friend. She stated she would divorce her husband unless he left the Nixon administration due to their role in the burglary. The call was interrupted by King, who ripped the phone line. Despite immediate interest in her situation, they did not get a hold of her for a week. When they did, she claimed to have been held against her will and heavily drugged to prevent her from talking to the media. However, her claims have turned her story into a joke to many in the country. Among the strongest Nixon supporters, the claims of being forcibly detained and drug or, drugged appears far-fetched despite the physical evidence she showed reporters well at least she closed her mouth about the situation and then washington post starts it huh and so to the disappoint disappointment of a few people like i know you guys want me to go with mcgovern but like for now we're gonna just do nixon still sell we'll get oh wow oh there's look at some more stuff cia operator operations i guess so um the nixon administration for 72 we probably want to do this as fast as we possibly can. Volunteer only. Yeah. Fight inflation. Sounds like a good idea. Copyright Act of 76. Push for universal health care. Do Nixon want to do that? I don't know. Latin America, huh? And the draft. Federal Highway Act. Oh, we can end the draft. Why not? Yeah, and the draft. I, I, these are 25-day focuses. What the heck? Why are these 25 days? Why are the other ones 50 days? Disaster relief. The Washington Post starts investigating the situation. Since the Watergate break-in reached the media, the Washington Post has been explicitly dedicated to investigating the potential White House connections. Reporters Bob Woodard and Carl Bernstein are taking the lead on the case, developing White House sources and investigating the origin of the money given to the captured burglars. Senior administration officials uh, have recognized early on how focused the Post is on its investigation and proposed two ways to handle them. One is to actively discredit and target the Washington Post as having a bias in peddling false allegations. And once other media appear uninterested in Watergate, focusing more on the election campaign, and we would support our allegations. The other approach would be to ignore the paper and let them operate. This would demonstrate our lack of concern and may push the paper to consider the investigations may not be as groundbreaking as they think. Anything that gives us more social liberalism sounds wrong. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, let's do that one. That one sounds like more fun. Anything else here yet? Nope, and that's fine with us. You know, we're making quite a bit more money, which is nice, but still. 
I want to end the draft. The dra drag? The, the draft. The draft. Drafty boys. Another comment includes, uh, someone says, Tricky Dick is curing cancer. Yes, that's why we declared war on cancer. We don't like cancer here. And then someone says, was the Italian king from Red... Red... Was it... Red Alert? I'm not really sure. I don't remember the guy's name, so my apologies. But still. Maybe. Really Brent. Formation of the Patman Committee. Long-term uh, uh, congressman, right, Patman, the chairman of the banking committee, concluded its investigation in Watergate. Patman took on in the investigation by studying the $100 bills involved in paying the burglars and trying to trace its origin. However, the White House launched a denial campaign claiming the investigation was politically motivated. House Minority Leader Gerald Ford played a major role in hindering the investigation, blocking its attempts to subpoena White House officials, which led to an incomplete investigation. Other Democrats also refused to aid Patman as they failed its inve investigation, considering the electoral campaign and leaving the party open to accusations of being politically motivated. Although Patman failed to find the origins of the money, the Washington Post and other Senate investigators are now looking into the money trail as a means to find a White House connection to Watergate. Hopefully they don't find out. Hey, we actually... Wow, this actually changed ideology here. Wow, we actually got more. That is weird. That is weird to see. But we're going to go volunteer only. The Chamorro assassination. Nice. I do want to see what we can do here. Influence Australian politics? Near East Allies, or affairs, I should say. Mujahideen? The Angolan Civil War. The Paris Peace Accords, huh? Peace of the National Liberation Front. Everyone's state. Twilight of the Vietnam War, huh? Oh, nice. Even though we only get 2.6 every single day. But at least our focuses are working. You know, that's, that's really nice. Free repair. I mean, I just can't justify doing this one. We don't need any of this stuff. I mean, it's nice and all to have, but we don't really need it, do we? I mean, you get more cap. You, we lost population growth, and we get more back, but... Advanced medical system. Education's not bad. I don't mind getting actually more construction speed, though. You know what? That's probably good to get. 200%, 400%. We can go there. We can afford that. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. We cut it by half. You know what? Oh, actually. Well, I guess we lost more population growth every month. Which is still 4,000, which is honestly not that good, but eh, whatever. More office park construction speed, which is what we want. Get more construction speed, get more research speed. I guess we can get medical system next, just so we can build, uh, get more population back, so. Goals, man, goals. And the draft, followed up with the Paris Peace Accords. 1970s, the Paris Peace Accords. I'm not sure this is going to be one that is going to stay here, so that's why I want to do it now. The Iranian Crisis. And the draft. And then what's this? The American Armed Forces. Um, and Golden Civil War. Latin America sounds like fun. Yeah, let's get some more political power first. I think that'd be pretty decent. Oh! Another domino. Man. My dad's old. He sells his Vietnam draft bag in the garage. But anyways, Latin America. And then the Federal Highway Act. The F Federal Aid Highway Act, I should say. Man, I'll be honest, this, this episode is a little more interesting just because we have more things to do here. Is this a Chilean military? Conspire against Aland. Support Pinochet. Ooh. Interesting. Now you have my interest. But cool. Awesome. Um, I do want to beeline through all this stuff as fast as possible, though. The War Powers Resolution. Get more daily political power, more stability, more war support. Um, with War Powers Resolution, War Powers Act. We might as well do that one. War Powers. Sounds like fun. Nothing that could ever go wrong for us. And Missouri wants to build it more. Missouri is such a weird state. I've said that before in campaigns, but like, part of it's southern, part of it's not. It's part of the Midwest. It's just awkward. That state is so weird. Oh, and actually, a lot of you guys are no longer putting down resistance and such. January 7th, mass shooting. Mark Essex in New Orleans. Wow, killed seven people. Oh, boy. You die with 200 gunshot wounds. Wow. Terrible news, man. Terrible, terrible, terrible news. But after the Highway Act, yeah, we're going to do the War Powers Resolution, and then, what do we have here? Foreign influence, economic decisions? No. Uh, other investments? No. Um, resources gathering? Renewable energies? Yeah, why not? Which might be the reason why we're hurting our GDP, but whatever. Still, 80's not bad. Still, 80's pretty darn good, not gonna lie. 80's pretty darn good. And we do some water here. Not, not coffee, but water, wow. There's a lot of blue in the south. And the very north midwest areas? Oh, cool. Wow, 63 Democrat seats. And then 222 Democrat House seats and 213 Republican seats. Oh boy, what do the Republicans do, man? 
Alright, or power resolutions. But happy 73 everyone. This is gonna be a great year for Nixon. I can feel it. Truly a great year. Um Amtrak improvement. Uh I'll, let's think about the animals. Uh, Endangered Species Act, because we can. When is the next thing gonna be getting done? In about a week. Okay, so you guys are here. Uh land auction can't be dealt with. Uh I'll be honest, naval stuff I'm just ignoring for now. I don't wanna get bothered with it. I got a lot of air stuff to do still. Like holy crap, we're like decade or more than a decade behind. We need the F ten fifty Thunder Chief. Yeah. I'm like, I don't even read this stuff. I'm like, just like, it looks good. It sounds good. Let's take it and grab it and buy it. Better Highway Act? Nice, for quite a while. We get better construction speed. And all the senators love it. They love spending money. Standard Oil, California, Industrial Park. We're building office parks. Um, I mean, that's cities. We don't really need you anymore, Standard Oil. Research speed? I mean, really? We get, okay, so they get 10% industrial research speed, too. That's electronics. Uh, overall, it's not bad. Yeah, let's go save the animals first. Direct intervention in Nicaragua? It's still a democratic regime. They're turning to Somoza. Interesting. It's this the Chilean army. The war powers act. U.S. Congress. As over in the President of Vito, Vito has passed a War Powers Resolution or War Powers Act. The new law intends to check executive power by requiring the President to acquire congressional approval for any military action. Many Congress hail the act as a victory for the democracy and a way to ensure no President may use military force for their own agenda or interest. In general, the bill has widespread public support. But the White House knew it in the such fast-paced world changing circumstances. The new law will hinder the ability of the U.S. to act effectively. Observers of the bill note that law has potential loopholes and no time will tell whether the President can be challenged in times of crisis. A much needed piece of legislative legislation. Juno 1? Oh, yes, please. Oh, we can't get that. We need Jupiter C first. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is just barely going up now. Oh, man. I think we're okay on building our renewables for now, so. Cool. And then Amtrak improvement, of course. Comprehensive Education and Training Act. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Not bad. What is everyone else doing, though? What is What are the Germanys doing? Balanced commerce. Hanukkah. They're about to construct mines. Expand the asylums. Now that sounds... Yeah. Yeah. Maritime Guard. Consumer Economics. Agrarian Land Rights. Found the National Militia. Huh. Maritime Guard, of course. Nothing there. Civil Defense Bureau. Algerian land rights. Immediate manufacturing goods. Endangered species. Nice. Amtrak improvements. Yes, please. And without other one done in two weeks. Man, bad. Holy crap. Uh, I have a feeling these guys are not going to win. Iran is probably going to win. Fallujah. Well, that's where Fallujah is. It's going further north of Baghdad. Interesting. That or this one will probably do the uh, Comprehensive Education and Training Act. Maverick. Maverick. Minutemen. Just, I'm building missiles. We're researching missiles. Minimum three. We go have to get minimum two. We go straight to three. How do we count stuff? All right, we'll just, we'll just want to blow up people, man. We we'll just want to blow up people. We got a lot of missiles. The try at one. Wait, we can't research this one. Oh, we have to research that one first. Okay. Jesus Christ. So many missiles. Uh. Weapons of mass destruction, please. No. Choppas? Choctaw? I guess. Why not at this point? We're running out of things to build and research. Legislation passed. Good job, guys. I'm just trying to avoid, like, ships this time, so. Oh, we have another operative? Nice. Oh, well, look at that. goes Iraq. Oh, yeah. Iraq. And Hashemite Jordan's gone, too. Mary Solomon seems very nice, so we'll choose her. And now we're going to do endangered species. We get a lot more political power, get more stability, lose some construction speed, and get more research speed, but get, lose some industrial park construction. You know what? Plus 0.15 political power every single day is not too bad. That's a cost worth spending. I guess we're going to go back to Peru as well. Cool. Disaster relief? Yeah. Might as well, right? Because it's only April. Still only April. And we're on uh, volunteer only, so. Honestly? Yeah, more training time, 4%. It really doesn't matter. I mean, we're, we're demobilizing. Oh, no, we're not demobilizing anymore. All adults serve. 
scrape in the barrel didn't really notice the change really have not noticed the change at all so uh i just want to build more man in indiana oh yeah oh alaska oh yeah hawaii oh yeah keep building 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 because apparently we're still building petrochemical refineries in minnesota which i guess they could use more of huh 50 days left not bad cost per capita 600 percent my goodness that is such a high cost to bear man such a high cost is any do anybody just want to train good time for him to no how's he just we're just sitting here man that's so not cool how about you over here in mozambique you're just just still hanging out just just still hanging out Poseidon, uh, Seabat? Why not? I guess so. Why not, right? We could get some choppers. Cracked on juvenile delinquency is not bad, but this is one. Disaster relief first. Disaster relief. Dangerous species. I do wonder if the Nixon thing is going to come back and haunt us, but ooh. People's Republic of Ghana. You look old and tired, man. Alexander Williams. This year's building finishes construction in Chicago. Oh, that's a good while to do, huh? Sears Tower. By God, we're going to run out of sky. This rate, the world advances. Don't worry. This world's going to slow down eventually. And, well, maybe. Mauritania. Nice. It's us. Mexico. Gaspar Lopez de Santa Ana. Colombia. And that dude. And some decryption. It's very nice. Um, 75. So we're done with that stuff, too. 1970 stuff. Oh, howitzers? Yes. Please get some howitzers. Well, they are puppet, and that's what matters, right? Saudi Arabia, I do want to puppet them too. That makes a lot of sense, at least coming from me. Um, reactionaries, huh? Ni win. Ni win. Uh, Liu Xiao Qi, or Xiao Qi, yeah? Cool in Afghanistan, oh boy. A new day for Afghanistan, oh boy, oh boy. Well, Mohammed Daoud Khan. Soviet Union's got a lot of influence there. Until they piss off, huh, other people. Disaster relief is nice. Crack down juvenile delinquency. Well, how about instead we go education for the disabled? The disabled need some education too. Um, we got actually some political power. Comprehensive training and education. That's, that's not bad. I like that one. Yeah, let's do that one. Why not? Yeah, they like it. So, yeah, this is this is the biggest Iran I've ever seen. Why is Afghanistan purple now? Holy crap. I know they had the coup, but wow. That is funky. Jerusalem? Um, this is weird, man. It's very weird. Education for the disabled. After that one, we'll probably, like, go with... Yeah, we can crack down on juvenile delinquency. Might as well, right? Them juveniles need to be put in their place. Dude, almost three... Oh my gosh, almost three political power. That's so good. That heavy welfare spending plus 37% is pretty good. So, has anyone died here yet? Do you want volunteers, bro? They actually both like us. And you always you already rejected us once. You know what? We're coming to Afghanistan. The American entrance to Afghanistan. This is probably a mistake. But that's okay. Because we're educating the disabled. And then we'll do the juvenile delinquent one out of this one. But, since we can send some guys over. Um, well, Midwest, Great Plains. Southwest. Rocky Mountains. How many plants can we send? Do you have any even Oh, oh god, you only sent 50. Well, head on over if you can. See what you can do. Don't starve in the mountains. Too hard. Already sending volunteers to Afghanistan. <sighs> History just has to repeat itself sometimes, right? Malay and Liberation Army, nice. Kingdom of the Netherlands still owns that area. Vietnam. No, yeah, we can still puppet them. What happens if we puppet them? And we puppet North Vietnam too. Can they just unite? That'd be kind of cool. I'll be honest, that'd be kind of cool if we could do that. 
right. And hey, how's it now? You want to come to be not, not, not Vietnam, but Afghanistan? I could actually push out, but whatever. And then we'll crack down on ju juvenile delinquency. Oh, you juvenile delinquents! Are we actually suffering from? Oh my goodness! <sighs> yeah, this is a bad idea. The Employee Retirement Income Security Act. Is this not Social Security? Trade Act of '74. The, the economy just—it's—it's it's trying to get back up. Hey, legislation passed. Good news. Oh, look at that peepee. -pee. Amtrak and proposals, disaster relief. Um, ooh. So federal fire prevention act. Give more political power, stability, but lose construction speed. We lose a lot of construction speed here. Holy crud. But I think it's time to get Peru under board. Under board, on board. Hey, Peru. I this is I did not ex expect getting you now. After Manuel, we have Yorg. Nice. Oh, you're Marxist Leninist? I don't think so. I think you're going to change eventually. Yeah, let's do Employee Retirement Income Security Act. I think that'd be great. Please don't stack too much here. Because if you do, I'm just going to delete you all. Okay, so you're not going to stack too much, which is nice to see. Can you guys actually win against Iran? I don't want to try it, but... I do want to get some experience for these guys. Oh, wait, let me guess. They have no manpower. Oh, no, they got plenty. They got a million. Huh. Not a lot of resistance. No. Alright. That is odd. But okay, then. Could you guys just, like, push, maybe? No? Yeah, maybe not. This is so weird. Alright. I guess we'll do the Trade Act of 74 next. Even though it's only 73, but whatever. Wait, when did that Watergate thing happen? 71, 73? <sighs> Fighting land wars in Asia. Nothing like it, man. Oh, well, they actually have an intel advantage, huh? Looks like we're going to probably lose that one. There's some planes over here, so what are y'all doing? You're so far away from the front, you can't even help out. For all be honest, that sucks. They can be treaty proposal. Premier Leonid uh, Brezhnev and senior party officials have proposed to us an anti-ballistic missile treaty. The proposed treaty would limit the deployment of such weapons only to ICBM sites in the capital. Anti-ballistic missile ABM systems are being developed by both of our nations to reduce the devastation of an all-out nuclear exchange. However, it is such, it's clear such projects are very expensive and risk starting a new arms race. Although we believe our advances in technology will give us an eventual advantage, some of our theories suggest such a scenario may provoke the Soviets to strike first. Their proposal appears uh, sound as their military experts say ABM currently is not feasible or pre preventing nuclear annihilation. Accepting the proposal will also help relations with the Soviets. However, some senior advisors believe that the Soviet suggests the weakness in ABM research, so we should reject the proposal and continue our own. I have no idea. I literally have no idea. A and B treat, treaty. Cool. Great news. Spiro Agnew corruption case. The investigation against Vice President Spiro Agnew intensifying. He has decided to visit the Speaker of the House, Carl Albert, discuss if his status as VP protects him from prosecution. The Nixon administration quietly informed Agnew that the allegations have any truth or proof to do distracting. He should consider doing the right thing and resign. Speaker Albert should t could tell Agnew that Congress could protect him from prosecution, however. Speaker Albert, a deeply devoted constitutionalist, does know that Congress did investigate the Vice President in the early 19th century, which would be precedent that Congress could use. He stated Congress had no right to interfere with the courts. If the Democrat Albert tells how Agnew could be charged, Agnew will have to resign. If not, Agnew can stay on. Can try to stay on. Gosh darn it. Huh. I, I don't remember very much about this at all, I'll be honest. Honestly, let's go increase spending. Increase spending to combat recession. More political power, less consumer goods. That kind of sucks. And then we'll do the other one. Seems like things are collapsing all around us. Choctaw, huh? Their strength is dropping. Not by much, but it is dropping, so that's good to see. 
Yeah, not by much at all. Holy crap. Boy, is it a struggle or what? Nice. More cons less consumer goods, more construction speed, more stability. Um, municipal infrastructure. More political power. The howitzer is very nice. The 175mm M113A1. Very, very nice as well. Oh, we're still winning. Limitation arm socks, nice. Good news. Jet class air support, personnel and carrier stuff, nice. And eventually win would be great. Supplies. Oh my goodness, not very good. Honestly, sending these guys to Afghanistan? Probably a really bad idea. My bad. But oh well. Um, go to Mosul. Everyone loves Mosul this time of year. In October. Oh! Oh! Wait, oh! 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 Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, uh oh. They declare war on a puppet? Oh, this is not good, not good, not good. Okay, so we're actually in war. With Egypt and Syria. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're actually war. Let's go, boys. We got something to do. Let's get in there. We can't get over there, but whatever. And now do the trade act. Wait, what? The underdogs came on top. No! The underdogs came out on top. What is this? Um. Oh, they took over the Suez Canal. That's what they did. Holy crud, de daddies. Let's go! Blow the Panama Canal. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mer oh, we're not gonna hire mercies right now. Alright, everybody. We're all going into war. This does not feel very historical, but don't ask questions. Send everyone you can. Well, as many people as you can. Oh, you're already over there. Huh. Uh. Just do the best you can, man. Part Said. Yep. The resignation of Agnew Spiro. Uns it's quite surprising, huh? Alright. Well, things are definitely heating up for us. Oh, they're getting attacked up here too, huh? Well, at least we got guys out of Afghanistan. God, is that... Am I talking about 1973? Or am I talking about 2021? You know. Weird. Everyone's joining in on the party. Oh, we're fighting the Muslim be people. Too. Wait, what? We're just helping them out. This is so weird, man. Oh, we actually. Hey, we actually sunk something. Look at that. What's going on here? Japan's at war again. Oh, God. NATO demobilizes. Now the threat against the NATO members has been dealt with, the military alliance between these countries can be disbanded. NATO will mobilize again if another member is under attack. Uh Okay. Is this turning into World War Three right now? This might literally be turning into World War Three. Bros, where are you? Why are you taking so long over the ocean? Huh. Oh, well, you guys are back. Hey, all of our guys oh thank god all of our guys are back. That looks really nice. Well, that's definitely not how I wanted this episode to go. Really did not how I wanted Oh. Hmm. I did get rid of one uh, fleet, though. But whatever. Oh, is this? Yay! Something there. 
Security Act. Fight inflation. Ooh. Revenue adjustment. Why not? Oh, actually, what are we on? Ooh. Jupiter stuff. Nice. Good. Sink their crap. Yeah, the Jews are here. Uh, fiscal overview. So we're at 25%. We're going to go 30. Holy crap, 35? We're going to get 10% more construction speed. We're going to lose more factory output and cap, which is, eh, fine, whatever. We can deal with that. Did we actually lose ships? Bro. Syria is about... Oh! Hey, the Turks are invading Syria. Yay! Legislation passed. Good job. Good job. Two off sparks. Nice. There we go. Come on, guys. Get over there. We just want to help out. Korea, yes. Nice. Between everyone here, we should be able to do well, right? Right? Even Mexico's joining. Oh god, they're in Gaza. How many men have we lost? We lost 40,000? How the heck did we lost this many? There's no way. There's no absolute flipping way. Get to your god dang lines right now. We're gonna blow the crap out of these guys. Right now, force the attack. Holy smokes. That's ridiculous, man. I'm not I know I'm not paying a lot of attention to this, but I'm gonna burn every Egyptian to the ground now. Come on guys, let's go. Don't tell me. Economic aid, call to arms. Let's go! Burn them all to the ground. What is this? Requisition desert gear, huh? Try that. Peace conference. Okay, that's not bad. We're coming back. We're killing you all off. Nice. Revenue adjustments, not bad. Minimum, nice. Minimum three, yes. And fight inflation, which is going to hurt us for eh, quite a while, but whatever. Well, we're over the river now. Becoming a Panzer leader, which is pretty good. Hey, we got him. Oh, no. I'll give most of it to Turkey, because they deserve it, so. We were seeing a peace deal conference here. And we'll give some to Israel, too. Ah, the Jewish state. Golan Heights, nice. How much is this? Oh my gosh. It's not that bad, actually. A peaceful division of Syria. Nothing bad could ever come from this. What do you mean you sent a white piece? We did not send a white piece with them. Get your butt over there, man. I swear to God, you are going to get down there and blow them all up.
Blow the Suez Canal. Blow the Panama Canal. We're gonna blow a lot of things here. Nice. Of course it. They want to kill off Americans? They can try. But they're definitely going to be dying here. Not enough, but still. Canada's in. Nice. After fighting inflation, we're going to go with Federal Land Reform. Oh, Railroad Revitalization Regulation. Like, why not? They've only up to seven divisions left, so. Like, that ain't much. How thick is this division? Oh, they're incredibly thick. In all the right areas. Yeah, you ain't done yet, Israel. Nice. We should have him, so. Oh, we got him! You get it, Egypt. And because of that, and killing off so many Americans, you are gonna lose even more land to the Jewish state. I love what Nixon has done with this place. We'll take this. Because obviously the Brits can't uh, be in control of it. What happens if we just annex it? You know what? I don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, settle the Coptic Republic. Liberate? No. That's better. Tonga. What is a cop? I know it's not very historical. I just want to see what this is. Oh, is that it? What the heck? Uh. Tonga. Uh, I guess we'll take that too? What the land does Egypt own? Oh, it's Gaza. Oh, yeah, you guys can understand. They don't care. Well, we won at a very high cost, but uh, Abanu Al Hijaz, are you the guy from Black Panther, Lieutenant of Industry? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Railroad Revitalization and Stuff Act. Oh, we're still at war. Yeah, it wasn't in Beak. It was War and Poverty. Republic of the United States of Indonesia. Oh. Everything's just collapsed in and around us. Not a good feeling, man. So you're our puppet. Yeah, guys, you come on in. Can I get a... Hmm. Dutch East Indies. People's Republic of China. Kingdom of Laos. Looking doobie. Looking pretty nice. Huh. Oh, that was something there. I think it was past legislation, so... Pakistan, maybe? How about Turkey? No, they're already our ally, so. Uh, how about South Africa? I like that idea. Oh, no. We want to do, yeah, let's do Saudi Arabia. We want that oil. The SALT II Treaty proposed. The Soviet Union is proposing a new series of strategic arms limitation stocks for both nations. This new treaty would actually call for the reduction of nuclear stockpiles as a specific cap. The treaty also limits the development of new treaties, although current development programs in both countries will be exempted. This means future programs will be limited. The proposed treaty does not limit stockpiles dramatically, and both nations will still have strategic parity. But would halt the nuclear arms race and the stockpiles of such weapons. Considering the treaty does not dramatically change the balance of power, suddenly it makes sense, along with the fun more pressing programs, there will be a great movement moment to garner international support. Despite that some senior Pentagon officials are urging us not to sign the treaty and instead focus on developing more advanced systems to push the strategy, strategic balance in our favor. I have no idea, man. I'm sorry. I don't know. Salt Treaty 2? Is that, is that good or bad? I don't, I don't know. Oh, now we have no more industrial subsidies, huh? Coptic Republic. Well, they don't... Oh, god dang, they don't cause this. And I guess we, we own the Suez Canal now, so... Uh, actually, we made you guys our puppet. We could probably just invade these guys pretty easily, but whatever. 
Well, we gotta make this more difficult, don't we? Pretty much. Good luck, guys. Do the best you can. There you go. Federal land reform. And bonus slot or copyright act. F76, wow. How else he's still president? Interoperability, not bad. Signal support's better. And since we're here. Gulf of Aden. Four, oh my gosh. Four political power? Holy crap, Ola. This is looking pretty good now. That's looking pretty good too. Alright, get some of that stuff. Work on it, why not? Heavy arty? Nice. Sign us up for that heavy arty. Shouldn't take you too long to get over here too, so. See what happens, Omar Bradley. He's still general, so mile 74, but whatever. The world's a mess. Oh, look, Afghanistan is actually losing. Look at that, huh? Well, new Soviet for a policy outlook. It's completely softened in its tone. Friendly changes exchange of trade, cultural, and political ties. Interesting. All right, well, whatever. Good luck with that. As you're deploying ballistic missiles in Eastern Europe. Uh, nothing says peace like ballistic missiles. And the GDP is tanked. Cool. Nice. Yep, the boys are almost here. Madagascar time. Time to invade other people. I love it. Yeah, we got a copyright act. Uh, resource Con conservation act. Why not? American Armed Forces is cool. And then copyright act. Because we put Nixon pushing for universal health care is kind of crazy, but we're gonna do it anyways, probably. All right, Mosley. Oh, oh, the French invaded. Oh, would you look at that? You're gonna die there, French people. Your country sacrificed you for the. Not greater good, so yeah, not a smart idea. That's why you want to invade the port. If you don't even win here, well, at least it was better than doing this. Well, you can win, that'd be great, but <sighs> socialism, huh? It's always socialism. Ah, oh, socialists. Congressional overview 63, oh, yeah, yeah. The public is not looking very good. Northrop. Look alive. Well, hopefully, no one shows up here. Only 24 billion. Okay, then. Yeah, don't leave it to the French and how to do this. So, actually, we could have been made up there too, probably, but whatever. Clerico Marque. You guys go that way. We not own the Suez? Why can't we blow it? Oh, oh the one that falls. Oh, huh. No, we still own the Suez. Oh, we can upgrade this day too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. I'm also spending. We got so much billions, so. There's us. Where do you apply? Yeah, that's right. Economic decisions, anything else here? Hey, legislation passed. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Where did that one Oops. Ah, yeah, good. What does that do? You got 100 senators for it, so it doesn't matter. Copyright Act. Cool. Are we winning? That's all we care about, right? Are you winning, son? Or are you losing? Cool. But after that one, we're probably going to end up doing push for universal health care. And let's say we'll also end with, uh... This isn't the Chilean army. Yeah, we'll probably do that one. But I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. This has turned into a very weird campaign. And we're still winning down, or trying to win down here at the very least. So, yeah, things are... Oh, look at this. You know what? Interesting. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that one. But I guess at this point, let's go get all these guys. Just do that. There you go. But Judge Serica sends to give the convicted Watergate 
uh, burglars in court recently. Some pled guilty while others were convicted. Although the White House hoped the final sentencing would mark the end of the interest in the case, it appears media interest has only expanded. During the trial, details emerged over money trail from the committee for the re-election of the president to the burglars. This time, public interest in the case has pushed the media to investigate what role President Nixon had in the Watergate burglary. In addition, the trial revealed the participation of Howard Hunt and Gordon Liddy, both the former intelligence agents with known associations with the White House. It appears that investigation and media interest is intensifying rapidly. Unfortunate, but if you enjoyed the video regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll see what happens with Richard Nixon. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.